this is Anil back again with a new video of my cloud powered by WD. So this is my personal storage. Uh, the capacity of this particular device is 3 TB. So let me give you some some idea about this particular device, what it does, why, why we have to use it, right? So I have a couple of phones and I have a personal PC and also a laptop. So like let's say if you want to sync everything uh, and you want to keep all the files in uh, a cloud where you can connect all the time and you can utilize it, this is the best device. What what's going to happen when you use this device, you're going to sync all the data to cloud which is wireless. Like for example, if my phone storage is full with my memory, all I have to do is I have to install an application powered by WD my cloud and I can sync my data okay and also I can access the data to retrieve back again so it's kind of a you know you're gonna keep everything in the cloud which is your own so you're owning this cloud and the capacity of this cloud is 3 TB that that is amazing and also the price coming back to the price it's not uh, you know that expensive so you can get it for $150 or $140 because uh, now, now you know you can see the price up and down. But I bought this in India, which is about like 14,000. 14, now, the, now the price is like fluctuating. So you can just go ahead and see in the website. I got this from Amazon. Amazon, they provide amazing delivery and all. They are on time providing the services. Everything was absolutely fine. I'm pretty much satisfied with the package and all and the delivery time. So I suggest go with Amazon. So this is my cloud basically where you can push all the data in your cloud system without any cable connecting to your PC or your phone, your laptop. Everything is wireless. All you have to do is you just have to install the application. This is the functionality of this device and the storage as I said again 3 TB and uh, this is pretty much uh, uh, for all the devices phones iOS Android uh, Macintosh I, I did try in Linux it works so there wouldn't be any problem if, if any any if it is any device okay you're gonna use the same application or you can if, if it is not support supported with the application provided by WD all you have to do is you can access via web there is a two way of accessing and that's all about this device I'm gonna show you everything again uh, how to connect how do you set up basically in case if you have any problems there are a couple of problems which I have faced it initially so you have to let me know in the comments so that I can do those kind of videos too but basically this is kind of a basic review so let's go ahead and do it hi guys welcome to my channel uh, this is my cloud which I have bought from WB and uh, the only reason I purchased this because it's wireless you can uh, sync your TV you can sync your iPhone you can sync your Android you can sync your PC there are many things that you can sync wireless which means that you no need to connect this to a computer uh, manually it's all wireless all you have to do is you have to set up this thing with a router and uh, via web you can access and also you can access via application and this is pretty much compatible with the operating systems which I said which is Windows Linux Macintosh iOS and Android you have the different applications uh, based on that you you go for it and there is no limitations if you have connected your PC uh, and also you can connect your phone there is no limitations that you connected PC and you no longer gonna connect any other device so it's pretty much acceptable to connect uh, many devices uh, so basically it's from a WB you can see my cloud and the, the the setup is very unique okay it's very simple all you have to do is you have to connect this to your uh, one of the router via cable and you would be having a unique IP address if you want to access via web or if you want to dump everything directly you have an application uh, which is available in w, WD website okay and uh, about the specifications nothing much it's in general basically you look for uh, the uh, the GB and TB it's basically three terabytes what which you get it from uh, this particular device 
and uh, th this 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 guard in unique colors again you have white and also you have in gray so th this is the power there is no power button basically the moment you connect uh, it turns on uh, and you can see here uh, a light okay basically the initial light would be in red then once this is up and running it, it turns to green so that that's how you you say your uh, WD my cloud is ready to sync up so the behind behind this box you see uh, a backup cable this this USB port is for backup so let's say you you want to backup anything or you want to uh, use uh, a storage where you can uh, do a password backup and all you can do it and also you can connect external USB more than one TB where you can support kind of an external device for this device so let's say your 3 TB is not enough for you then you can still connect a USB stick here where you can expand your storage and this is the uh, Ethernet cable which directly goes to the router which I'm gonna do now and this is the power DC so you get one one DC adapter here where you can connect this directly to your power socket and uh, one cable goes to uh, the uh, modem modem or router it could be anything okay that's how it's set up uh, and uh, there is nothing nothing else actually with this box and also with this uh, uh, little tiny box which is from WD so I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how we can uh, set up this uh, it's very simple process again again I, I, as I said nothing you you should be uh, known technically it's basically a plug-and-play I can say okay and uh, all you have to do is now you have to get ready okay I'm gonna pause the video so that I can get the Ethernet cable I got one but I I kept somewhere let me let me get that cable and connect and show you how it gonna turns into uh, power on mode okay Okay, as I said, I have connected everything. I just wanted to show you how it's gonna be. So as you can see, it's blinking, which means that it's trying to connect to to the router to obtain an IP. And behind this, I have the router, which I have used RJ45 jack to connect one end to the router and the second end to my modem. Uh, sorry, this is not the modem, but this is uh, the the box. I say uh, one of the cloud box. I named it my cloud, but basically we call my cloud, but I named it uh, my box, or you can call it anything. Basically, it's an online storage for you, so it's better you call cloud. So you see, one jack is connected to the cloud, the other one goes to the the modem or router. You can use both. And this is the power DC. I connected to power socket. Uh, that's it. That's the initial setup. And now you see there is no light basically because I just unplugged this one. So let me plug it back. The, the DC in power socket. I did it. I'm just waiting to power it on automatically. So it's trying to obtain an IP address. Basically, you have to give uh, maybe three to four minutes uh, to get the steady light. You, you see a steady light over here, which means that your motor is uh, ready to work, where you can sync everything. So once we see the steady light, I'm going to show you how you can install an app and how you can access it. So give me a couple of minutes and also you sh there, there is a two way, of, a two way of connecting this one is within the network and outside the network and there is a possibility that you can still connect uh, your phone or laptop if you are out of the network but for that there is a different process altogether we're going to do in the next video but this is the initial one if your phone tv laptop is connected with the same network it's it's very easy you don't need to be like that techy to understand this one so let's get the study light so that i can show you the rest all things okay i'm gonna let it be the phone in uh, recording more until we see the study light and i'm gonna get the other phone to install the application
So while I get the study light, I let me, let me get into the Play Store to install the app which I want to. Okay, I got into the Play Store, and I'm gonna type W D My Cloud. Okay. So this is the first app that you can see from uh, my cloud, basically. Uh, okay, so let me go ahead and install quickly. You have to accept the terms and conditions. This is the basic thing which you do for every app. And I still have the same light. I don't know for what reason, but let me check. Okay, it's almost done. Almost there. It's installing. So another thing, if you don't have study light, you can still connect, but uh, it's not ready to pair up, basically. Okay, so let me open. So, generic. So, so th this is uh, the account information. So when you initially set up, uh, you have to give a username and password, which would be an admin page. I'm going to go back to the computer to show you, but since I have created one, I'm going to quickly use that to log in. So every, the, you, whenever you're trying to access, uh, you have to give your username and password because you can create multiple usernames. Let's say uh, you have two friends and you want to share this uh, 3TB and uh, you, you want them to keep their folders personally, you can do that. Okay, by by giving a different username and password, and with the username and password, you can set up some sort of limitations, like uh, uh, who can access, whether the the data, whatever you have, that can be kept as a private or you want to keep in public. You can do that as well. So I'm gonna quickly pause because I have to give my credentials. I really, you know, don't entertain to share this all stuff. But give me one minute so that I can keep my credentials, and I'll show you the main page. So I got the steady light here, which means that my modem is okay to connect. And uh, as you can see, I have used my Gmail account here. So you can use any 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 account. It's not really necessary that, that you, you should have the private domain or your, your own domain. You can use any one of the domain, like Gmail, Yahoo, anything, okay? So I'm in, it says uh, auto backup photos and videos. My cloud automatically keeps all, all your photos and videos back up and organized. So you can select like uh, whenever you want to connect Wi-Fi only or you want both cellular data and also the Wi-Fi. But I prefer Wi-Fi because, you know, it's better. I, I have uh, very less plans with cellular data. I can't use it. So I clicked OK, and you can see it, these are two accounts which I have created. So public, where I shared my data, but this is my personal. The public one, people can access it, whomsoever you're going to use this application. So I'm going to select this one. As you can see, I already backed up these much, these many folders, and the, 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 the data is more than like uh, 100 GB, I believe. So you can always create a backup folder and all if you want to connect it now you can see everything is synced it's been like quite quite uh, long that i did not sync uh, any data with my cloud so basically this is the way I, I i understand that this is a bit complicated initially but if you still required uh, a, a complete video how to set up i i can do that for you and do let me know in the comments guys so that i can help you okay and thank you so much for watching you you have a good new year by now